Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to put a trolling motor on the front of a paddle boat. And here's some kids operating it. And it's very simple to use as a rudder when the steering's in the front. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the head from the shaft so that we can put the shaft uh, through the boat and then put the head back on later. So first we're going to take out these screws here. So that's how you take the lid off. And next we're going to disconnect the wires that go down to the motor. But before we disconnect them, we're going to um, take a uh, notepad and write where to put them back. So next I can actually pull the wires loose. These are the wires that are going down the shaft. And the only way to get the head off is to loosen these wires. Okay, now I got all the uh, wires loose. So next I'm going to pull the rest of the head off, which is one more screw down here that's going through the shaft itself. This head will come off. I have to feed the wires down through the hole. Okay, now we got the head off. Now, in this boat, uh, yesterday we took the pedals out, uh, but the camera wasn't rolling. So the pedals and the paddle are already removed. It was a simple procedure. So we want to have this uh, shaft uh, connected at the top and the bottom to keep it from moving around. Take this hole saw and drill right through there and take the make a hole in the top. That'll be our mounting location for our floor plate. Next we're going to uh, adapt the steel galvanized floor plate to the PVC and so we're going to put this uh, threaded mail on here get it as tight as we can. Then we're going to put a piece, and I've already measured it, so this is already the right length for the shaft. So that's going to fit on here. Then we're going to put that down through the hole. And we're going to put it in with some screws at first, but later we can convert it to some nice stainless steel nuts and bolts. But at least with the screws here, we'll know exactly where the holes are going to go. So now our top plate is mounted. Okay, this is what it looks like from underneath. And uh, next we have to invent a way to keep this thing from moving around back and forth, forward and from side to side or forward or backward, get a good solid uh, mounting there. So I'm going to take this... Uh, T or this uh, cross and I uh, cut one side off to make the motor is going to sit right here so that I chop that off with the chop saw. So it had four sides, I'm only going to use three. So this side is going to fit here and then this is going to keep it from moving back and forth. So we're going to put these pieces on. This is um, the piece that's in place to keep the shaft from moving from side to side. And next I'm going to measure the uh, distance for the sh main shaft that's going to hold the motor. Okay, so now I have my 10 inch piece and I'm going to put that in the middle. my cross brace and attach that. So 
So that's going to keep it from moving from side to side. Next, we need something to keep this to, from moving from top to bottom, from front to back. We're going to use a, uh, a piece of bolt or a piece of all thread to go all the way across where the pedals used to go through. So we uh, pre-cut this piece of all thread to be the exact right length and I'm putting a nut and a washer on one side and a nut and washer on the other side and that will hold it in place. So the way I decided to attach these two uh, pieces is with a screw clamp, stainless steel, and uh, it'll endure the water for a long time and hold it nice and tight. We're going to run the wires and we're going to put it back through the hole. So to facilitate getting the wires through there, I've added on a long, uh, stiff piece of wire to help us feed it through. Next we're going to put the control handle back on the shaft, so I'm going to take the wires and feed them back through the hole. Okay, next I'm going to reconnect the wires. So I'm looking at my notes and I got to put the black one over here. And the blue one goes up top. And lastly, I'm going to put in my screws to remount the cover. Okay, so we got it all back together. We put our clamp down here so that we can move it up for pulling it out of the water or transporting it without hitting the motor on the ground. Okay, now we're in the down position for uh, operation in the water. And now we've got clearance all the way around. We can turn it any direction we want and have the convenience of reaching it from the seat. So next we're gonna put the battery in the back. There's like a little, some boats will have a little space where you can put a battery or a cooler. And then we're gonna take our positive and negative terminals from the trolling motor and connect it on there like so. And now we got this trolling motor mounted in the front and we're ready to go. Okay, so uh, right now it's in the up position. We've got the clamp down here. It's the, we've moved the motor up so that it's not sticking down in the mud because we're close to shore. So as we get further away from shore, where the water is a little deeper, I can loosen the clamp. And drop it down to its lowest point. And now we're ready to go. So this one I'm going to put it in reverse. Back away from the shore. Switch it to forward. And now we're going. 